so I'm very happy to be presenting these closing remarks on behalf of the my fellow coaches, so Chad Myers and um, Dan Knights, and also on behalf on behalf of the the World Organizing Committee. Uh, so I would like to first start by uh, going through the program highlights. So during the, this conference, we have had the wonderful talks. We have had the chance to have uh, four keynote speakers. We have given uh, very wonderful uh, presentations. We have had 12 invited speakers, uh, three special stations in addition of the general session. And we have, we have had also four workshops that were held uh, the, the day before the start of the conference. So um, about the statistic, we have had um, submission of full papers to be uh, published in PLOS. So two were accepted, so an acceptance rate of 25%. We have had 84 oral abstracts that were submitted and uh, among them 44 were uh, retained for presentation at the conference. So uh, an acceptance rate of uh, 52%. And we have also had posters and late breaking posters. So 59 and 27 that were submitted and all accepted and presented at this conference. So I would like to thank again all the all the participants and all the speakers, all the poster presenters who have did, done a, a very uh, wonderful work um, uh, in the presentation. So, so um, yeah, let's come in. So um, I would like to start by uh, thanking, so uh, before thanking the organizing committee, I would like to start by thanking uh, all the speakers, like I said, uh, of the conference in particular to thank the four keynote speakers for sharing, for accepting to, to come at the conference and to, to present at the conference, present a very interesting work and to share their the time with us. So, Lauren Crawford, Noel Noyes, Michael Osterholm and Nadia Mabrook. So thank you very much again for your time. Um, next, um, very important, we couldn't have pulled this conference uh, together without the support of the organizing committee and in particular the steering committee that was co-shared by Lonnie Walsh and, uh, Lonnie Walsh and Ru Russell Schwartz. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time and for being there at all the conference call for your excellent uh, suggestion that you had all over the, the organization of this conference. And um, all the organizing committee, on behalf of the organizing committee, I would also like to thank the my fellow uh, program uh, committee co-chairs, so Chad Myers and, and Dan Knight. So I have seen you uh, do very tremendous work for the program of the conference and I really enjoyed working with you and um, I learned a lot uh, working with you. So thank you very much again. Um, next thing, uh, Continuing with the organizing committee, I would like to thank the publication chairs, uh, Sarah Chandra Djanga, uh, Sean Mayoni, uh, Tirana Milankovic. We would like to thank also the poster chairs, so Catherine Pitanti and Gunther Touch, uh, who did a wonderful work uh, handling the, the posters. We would like also to thank the fellowship chairs, so Serdar Bozdag and Laila Osper. Uh, thank you very much also for attending all the conference calls and for uh, contributing to. Uh, the organization of, the, of this conference. So this wouldn't have been possible without the, the time and the dedication that you, you put in, the, in this work. Um, next, very important, we have to thank ICB and in particular Bell Anson, uh, without who this conference wouldn't have been possible. So I think everyone knows Bell, everyone has been uh, exchanging emails so, or talking with Belle. So Belle, thank you very much for your passions and also for your answers to our many, many, many questions since the, the start of the organization of this conference. And also on the behind scene, so there is also Seth Monholan uh, that has been working very hard for us to have a very smooth conference, working smoothly like that virtually. And with Seth, I would also like to thank all the technical staff that were behind the scene with us on Zoom to guide us uh, so that the conference uh, um, is going so well. So thank you very much for, for all your time and all your work. We have had a very interesting panel discussion on EDI uh, during the conference uh, with very interesting discussion um, 
uh, that I'm sure will continue uh, in the community after the conference. So uh, we wanted to thank uh, in particular the member of the panel uh, for accepting to participate in the panel and for bringing the valuable perspective and experience and uh, for sharing with us. So we would like to thank Edgar Herriega, Joey Shamar, Trang Tili, Tirana Milenkovic, Melissa Minto, and Russell Schwartz. So thank you very much for the time you took for this uh, EDI panel. Um, following the, 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 the um, continuing with the, 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 the thanks. So we would like to thank uh, all the organizers of the special session workshop collaborators. So we have had four of them before the start of the, um, the, the conference. So there was the workshop for first time uh, conference attendees. Most of the workshop was full of attendees. So thank you very much, Laila Osper, Viteria Osongo and Robin Shields Kettler for the workshop on introduction to deep learning and creating neural network in Python and Air. Thank you, Daniel Meiser, Nicole Meiser, and Quincy Yu. For the workshop on machine learning or microbiome data, theory and practice. So thank you, Tatania, Ta Tatiana Lenskaya, I'm sorry, Sambawa Priya. Uh, for the workshop on mass, mass spectrometry based multi-omics analysis using the Galaxy P bioinformatic platform with a case study on COVID-19 data analysis. Would like to thank Team Griffith. So thank you very much for the time you are taking to you, you took to prepare the uh, the workshop and the, the time you took to um, to give them on on Monday. Um, last but not the least, would like to thank all the special session collaborators. We have had uh, uh, three of them. Okay. Um, they, they took a lot of time for the organization of the special session, almost the same time as we took for the general session. So thank you very much for the time, for your dedication. So there was the special session on knowledge gathering, mining, uh, learning, machine learning in biology. So organized by Anne Tessin and Anoush Karpatny. Thank you very much. The genotype to phenotype in model and non-model organisms. Thank you very much for the organization, in particular, Lin, uh, Lenore Cohen, uh, that was also uh, often on the call with us and uh, exchanged a lot of emails. Thank you very much, Jane Greenberg, uh, Judith Kleinman, Sitaraman, Natasha Levinsky, Holly Putnam, Hannah Reich, Lisa Roger, and Rohit Singh. Thank you very much for the time you took to organize this special session. And finally, the special session on taxonomic name and metadata. Uh, with a framework for big data interoperability. So thank you very much, Henry Bart and uh, Noah Daniels. Thank you. And I would like to also thank all our sponsors that have been key to uh, uh, helping us to organize this conference and also that have been uh, key to allowing us to offer fellowships to uh, um, uh, high school students and uh, over categories of, uh, of students to, to participate to the conference. So I would like to thank the University of Minnesota, uh, the Bioinformatics and Computational uh, Biology Program. Thank you for your help. Also thank the uh, Minnesota Computer Science and Engineering uh, Department. So thank you very much uh, again, Shad and Dan, and uh, the University of uh, Minnesota for the organization of this wonderful uh, conference. So I would like to uh, give some highlight, highlights of, on some, um, 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 some events uh, related to computational biology and organized by uh, ICV that are coming. So the first one is the U of, the U of Bioinformatics Symposium that will be on Sunday, May 23 of this year. It will be a live webinar event. Uh, on exploring computational biology for middle and high school students. We'll have the keynote speaker, Rit Nisinov, uh, that uh, is a wonderful presenter. I've already seen her present at ICMB. So there will be workshops and there will be also college fair to showcase uh, university uh, potential to, to potential students. So uh, feel free to join for this uh, event. There will also be the ICB Africa ISBCB conference on bioinformatics from June 7 to uh, 11 of this year. So it will be a virtual event again. So there is still time to submit a poster for late breaking poster. The deadline is May uh, 14, so uh, tomorrow. Uh, so uh, I invite you to join. It's a uh, let us take the opportunity of this virtual conference to uh, attend conferences in other continents, like for example, in Africa here this time. And uh, there is also, so another important one, the ISMB-ECCB uh, edition of the conference this year, 2021, 
uh, that was supposed to be in Lyon, but is uh, virtual this year. So there is also still time to uh, join and to register. The, the registration are, are open and uh, the conference is still accepting late breaking poster submission. So there is still time to, uh, to participate. And finally, I would like to end uh, this presentation by uh, announcing the next edition of the GL Bio that will be held this time in Quebec, so in the region of Montreal. And so we are very happy um, to, um, to announce that to you and uh, we uh, hope to see you, uh, a lot of you attending the next conference that will be in Montreal uh, for GL Bio 2023. So thank you very much on behalf of but all the organizing committee, and uh, we hope to see you uh, in two years, uh, a lot of you. Thank you.